Hello guys, how is everybody doing? In this video, I'm going to show you guys exactly how I made this kick you are going to hear in this little example track I made. So, let's look into this. So, we are in the project where I made the kick. First of all, I started with this sound. This is the basic uh, 909 kick that I made with uh, Citrus, actually. Uh, it's the Clubby 2. So, it's this one. Looks like this. And, um... I added some effects to make it sound kind of like a really, really bad up-tempo kick or something like this. I have some really nice EQing going on here. Controlling the low end. Controlling the low end again. I did this really <laughs> interesting web shaper shape using the uh, bipolar mode, aka the asymmetrical mode. After that, some more EQ, some static EQing, some more distortion, and soft clipping. After I printed this kick out, I drew it in here. Mm, and you can use SliceX as a sampler inside a patcher. I did this, and this sounds even more silly, like really, really bad. And I like it. I'm using envelope controller to control the EQ over here. So every time I press a MIDI note, the envelopes activates, envelope activate, and it moves these frequencies like I want. So actually, I'm just kind of playing around here. What I'm actually trying to do here is I'm trying to achieve that transient sound. If you listen closely, this doesn't have any transient. This has the transient and that's basically all I need. So I printed this sound out and I drew it in the Nimble Kick plugin. We can see the shape is really nice, but it sounds really bad. So we did go from this, to this, to this, to this. <laughs> so this uh, third pace is interesting. I'm using the Nimble Kick plugin again. And uh, what I'm trying to achieve over here is even more transient. And um, I added some distortion with the kick effects module and the peaking filter. I automated the uh, mix of the kick effects chain like this. So I'm just adding that transient sound in that in this way. Some EQing going on here, and I use the transient uh, curve to use this to move this filter also. So I printed this out. So this is what we got for now. I throw it into the playlist. And um, let's check this out. This is the punch part of the kick. It sounds really distorted and nasty again. It's just convolver and some distortion and some insane EQing with the trust too. And next we have the tail. The tail is without effects. It's rooted to the same channel as all of these things. The last thing is this little punch thing. And you can find this on my sample pack when it's released. I don't know when, but it will be there. So uh, adding just a little bit of to the kick. Uh, 
Um, and I started to play around with this. And I came up with, I think it was, um, one was using this E2 mono. I tried to make like a not up tempo kick, but also not hardcore kick, something in between. So I came up, up with something like this. Here are the uh, end results. Actually, if we print out, print out this kick. I was like thinking like that's kind of cool if we mix that into the leads, but um, if we try to manipulate this even more, That could be usable. So this is just uh, the process. This is kind of simple in my opinion. I tried to use the more uh, traditional way of making kicks like using EQ distortion, EQ distortion. But um, one thing you guys might be kind of confused about is this chain. Mm. If you checked out my video, it was named something like how to make your raw style kicks sound more raw, something like this. I showed you guys a way to make shitty kicks to not so shitty kicks. This is basically just the same chain, but I uh, <laughs> imported it into Patcher in my own way. Hi, it's me from the future. I'm going to put this patch to be downloadable from the description if you're interested, but keep in mind that you need to have uh, OTT, Camel Crusher and Pro-Q3, but as you can see, I actually made it compatible with the FL Studio EQ, so you can switch between those two just like this. The FL Studio EQ is scaled much differently than the Pro-Q3, so it doesn't sound the same, but um, you can manipulate these settings and get the job done. So, have a nice day and see you next time.